2.35 p.m. I, I guess you're wondering why I mostly, uh... I guess you guys are wondering why I'm doing this uh, Morphin Grey case study during on an afternoon normally. When I film a uh, Morphin Grey case study to uh, show you guys what characters I have in this uh, Power Rangers movie I'm doing, I normally do it during, during the morning times, then edit during the evening time and upload these uh, episodes, these uh, webisode features and stuff on YouTube around, probably around before my brother gets on the computer at like 9 o'clock usually. But um, knowing that the my computer's, uh, do, knowing that my dad's computer's uh, internet um, connection is very slow at times, even mainly during the beginning of a month, and then when we, you know, I don't want to talk about it, but then by the end of the month it goes fast, and then the beginning of the next month it gets slower and slower. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. I was thinking, instead of just doing one Power Ranger for a Morphin Grey case study, how about two? Well, since I've already dealt with the Red Galaxy Ranger, how about the blue and green ones today? Well, I know uh, this is not really what they're supposed to look like, but this is a reboot design. I didn't want to keep the, the original TV Sentai version. I wanted to create an American-produced version that almost looks exactly like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, movie Ranger outfits, which were armored. You know, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, armored um, edition of their uh, Mighty Morphin costumes from the TV show, while their helmets, helmet and visors are like different shapes and stuff. Even though I like the look of how the blue and pink uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is... Uh, movie visors look because it looks very dynamic than on the TV show and Zoo Ranger. But for the Lost Galaxy helmets and outfits for the movie, it looks almost roughly like a carbon copy cloned version of their outfits. And of course, well, when I did Blue Guy here, uh, the paint, um, the marker paint on uh, his arms is uh, fading off because at least I used some tape. Even though his arms is uh, a little brighter than his legs because his legs is darker. The Green Ranger gave me some problems, uh, you know, cutting and pasting problems when I did him uh, for his new outfit because I didn't want to use the original outfit, the original Green Ranger, Blue Ranger cut cutouts of the of Team Lost Galaxy that I made. But um, like I promised, if you remember from the four part uh, reintroducing the Galaxy Ranger featurette on the channel, if you haven't seen it, please uh, comment and what you think about my cutouts of them. Um, the, the arms were a little short for both of them. The Blue Ranger, well, when I did him, uh, well, when I had his uh, original version, his original Lost Galaxy version, his outfit, uh, his cutout, the way how I made his cutout was too, was too taller than the other Rangers. The other four Rangers looked like they were midgets, while the Blue Ranger was, like, taller than anyone else because, you know, in Ginga Man, Ginga Blue was the tallest of the group. The other Ginga men were mid-ranged, height class. Um, now, if you, if you, um, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to hold on. I don't want to keep uh, talking about this. Uh, you know, to prolong some stuff because you know I can get really hasty and stingy and a little cringy about it. So anyway, what ranger should I do now first? Green or blue? Make a choice. Meet me at one of them. 